Hey guys, it's Daft here. I'm um, coming to you from Hong Kong right now, actually, where I'm with Team Black Sheep. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing of their new LRS. It's not UHF. I'm going to have to keep myself from saying UHF over and over again in this video because I'm so used to it. But this is the 915 to 868 MHz, uh, 25 to 25 milliwatts to 2 watts LRS transmitter and receiver with telemetry, TBS Crossfire from Team Black Sheep. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. When you open it up, um, first you see the Crossfire itself. So here's the Crossfire module, it's, or here's the Crossfire itself. Um, transmitting module, it has XT30 for your battery. So if you want to run off a separate battery, if you want to run higher, higher power, I think you need a separate battery. Um, their head tracking input, your RC input, and your XP port. Here's JR module. Uh, it comes with some tape on the back, so you can stick this, the crossfire, plug in the, the cables, and then you can plug that into any uh, JR module radio, you know, anything like the Tyrannus or the, the 9X or 9XR or whatever. Um, here we have the antennas. Uh, these antennas actually in your kit are going to look different than these, because these are pre-production antennas. They're not actually the production antennas, so the, the transmitting antenna um, will possibly look different. It might be... It might be a different dipole. And these are the receiver antennas, which are also dipole antennas. And the finished product antenna, the one you guys are gonna be getting, are going to actually be lighter. So let's put those off to the side. And underneath the casing, got a bag of goodies. And of course, put it up, the receiver. Um, this is an eight channel receiver, it can also do PPM. PPM so you can mix in more than eight channels. We've got the bind button, antennas, receivers. It goes like that. Looks similar to your common Easy UHF receiver, except this thing has got a lot more packed into it. And inside the goodies bag, get this this wire, I think this is for your HT port. And there's a BST cable on the side here, and you can just plug that in and it will just link with any of your, your TBS stuff with BST port on, or this will connect to your receiver with your Core Pro or your black box. Or Futaba cable, because I'm a Futaba user, I was given a Futaba cable. Um, I think the final part will also come with this. This plugs into your RC input port, and then this will plug into your Futaba style radio, or any, any radio that uses a Futaba style connector for that matter. XT30 connector, which will plug into here with a JST adapter. You can power this with a separate battery so you don't use your transmitter batteries and you can save power on the transmitter and you can all or you can save battery life on your transmitter and you can also get higher powers on the on the transmitter itself. And then here's the BST splitter. So this allows you if you're running out of BST ports on your system, you can um, instead of plugging this directly into your black box or your core pro, you can plug the BST port from the receiver into the BST splitter and then into your black box or core pro or other TBS product. And to show you how it plugs into a radio, here's my Futaba TJ. Don't mind the back, it's a little hot wheel, it's all messy back there. But it will plug into this radio and then when you power up your radio it will turn on. But I'm not going to do that now because I don't have an antenna on the transmitter and I also don't have batteries in my radio. I'm traveling soon and I've taken all the batteries out of everything that's going underneath even though they're not lithium polymer. So you guys are wondering what's so special about the Crossfire? Why is this better than you know your Easy UHF or your Dragon Link or your DTF UHF or you know any any long range system at the moment? And and there's a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why this system is much more advanced and much more capable than all the other systems. This, uh, t all this really stems from its self-healing link technology. So you're trying to use for your UHF, classic easy UHF, let's say you're trying to use 433 megahertz and you've got, you're outputting about 600 milliwatts at 433 megahertz and you take off and there's, a, and there's a tower next to you outputting like several hundred times that power. So as you guys would assume your, your link is knocked out because it's like it's the same as you trying to talk to someone on the other side of a room. You're on one side of the room, the person is on the other side of the room. However, there's a loud loud shouting person in the middle of the room. The person on one side just can't hear it. So, why this thing is special is because of its self-healing link. 
So if you get noise, if you get RF noise on the frequency you're, that you're using, if this detects that that its link quality is going down because there's noise on it, or let's say there's a person shouting in the middle of the room, this will change frequencies. So it'll stop listening to the frequency that there's noise on. And it'll continue to do that until you're out of an area where there's no noise. So because of this, it can effectively go about 12, to, uh, 12 dB below the noise floor. So it'll effectively, effectively you can fly in a high noise environment and the crossfire won't even, it won't even change. Like you won't even, you won't even see the distance or the difference. Actually, the other day we flew a, a long range test and the crossfire with 25 milliwatts power, we flew about 1.2 kilometers on Two kilometers, or uh, 1.2 kilometers away on 25 milliwatts in in Kwantung, Hong Kong, and to anyone who's been the, to Kwantung, you know it's it's literally RF hell. Like I was flying the other day earlier with my Discovery quadcopter, and that was with an easy UHF system, and I couldn't, I for the life of me, I couldn't get 200 meters away before it triggered failsafe, and that's just ridiculous. Like this is a UHF system, this is supposed to be long range, I can't get 200 meters away. Uh, a few days later, we're testing the crossfire in the same spot on a mini quad, and we got 1.2 kilometers away on 25 milliwatts, zero failsafe, zero problems. We flew multiple batteries, no problem at all. The antenna was pointing downwards. We, we, I took the transmitter, point the antenna downwards, and I don't even get a failsafe. The only reason we turned back is because mini quad batteries don't last long enough, and because the video link isn't exactly that great on 5.8 in a high noise environment anyways. So that is a quick overview of the TBS Crossfire LRS. This thing, guys, this is really going to revolutionize long-range RC flying. This is incredible technology I have in my hand. This thing went 100, 100 km away. No problem, 100 km. Easy UHF would have died. Any UHF system would have just, just wouldn't have made it. It's just not possible anymore. But this thing, this thing is like, this is, if I had to relate this UHF system to an animal, I would just call this the honey badger of UHF systems, because it just doesn't give a shit. So that, guys, is a quick unboxing and overview video of the new TBS Crossfire Long Range System from Team Black Sheep. You guys are going to be seeing a lot more from this soon. I can't even get 200 meters away on easy UHF in the city. So I'm really psyched to have this thing. I'm really psyched to be flying it. I, I cannot wait to finally get some decent range on any of my quads in New York City. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please, please click on the subscribe button. It really helps us out. Check it out on Team Black Sheep, guys. I'll link that in the description. And until next time, guys, uh, safe flying, and I'll see you later.